so hi again I have this uh, motor from the dryer machine that I disassemble disassembly all the machine and I have to spin it out and I never understand how these things works I also try to find on the net but there is nothing on the net how to spin it but anyway I think I will be able to do it but again please be question about using 220 volt or 110 it is dangerous it is not recommended you have to be uh, very sure about what you are doing and if you are not sure please do not do anything so let's see what we have we have one two three four wires on the motors uh, one of them is very simple this is the earth or your protection if something happened so before doing anything the first thing uh, to measure of course do not connect anything to outlet not yet so I want to check that I don't have a leakage from one of the wires of the motor to the chassis because if you have so you can die okay so this is the first thing of course if you touch it so the first thing of course to check that my meter is okay so it is okay when I am short in the probe and now I will go from the ground to the coils and there are uh, three connections to the coils here so what I'm going to do I will show you I'm just touching the chases and now I am going through the wires and I see infinity or an open loop so I'm sure that if I connect something wrongly and touching it I will not die <laughs> so this is the first thing to do the second thing is of course to see that you have connection between all the coil I'm sure there, there is so you see we have 32 ohms and we have from this one to this one we have 16 and from this one to this we have also 16 so 32 16 and 16 okay so the next thing of course I want to to write what I have here because I didn't find it you can try to search yourself but I found nothing so basically we have some coils so let's uh, uh, connect it like this so we have one coil and the out and another coil and if you remember uh, there were two with 16 ohms so from here to here probably we have 16 and from here to here we have 16 and from here to here so we have the 32 which is of course uh, the, the head of uh, both of them but I want to write the wires which one is what so again so we have from here to here see, ah not touching well okay so we have 16 and we have 16 and then we have the 32 okay this I will touch from the other side it is easier yes so I will write maybe the wires colors that I have I don't know if it is like the same color for uh, from all the motor anyway I have no idea so we have the green and we have a red between them I have the 32 and then we have the white and of course we have the chases which is the the GND or the protection okay so now we have additional two wires and the additional two wires probably goes to the capacitor from the green to the red we have a capacitor this is very important 
I will explain because a high induction motor need a capacitor uh, for the start and for not drawing too much current from the wall so we have uh, between the 30 to the capacitor so what I think I should connect is zero to here and then phase to here or phase to here of course not on the same time to, to different side of the motor because this is probably one direction or direction I call it A and this will be direction B of course direction B is the opposite of direction A, a. sorry is direction B is equal to opposite of direction A yes this is how it should be I'm sure so about the capacitor because I've disassembled this machine with all the parts so I should have the capacitor somewhere I'm sure I did not throw it away so where is my capacitor let's search for the capacitor yes I have it and by the way the capacitor you have uh, it is written 10 microfarad okay so this is the capacitor and eventually I did not cut these wires when taking it apart so you just connect it uh, it doesn't matter which wire goes where okay it really doesn't matter so if you're doing it the wrong way it will work anyway so nothing to to worry about it next thing will be of course to, to connect all the wiring i will try to find a phase switch with two direction and then i will connect it and i will also connect the earth because i want to be on the safe side and then we hope it will not explode and test it so in a minute i will prepare all the connection so how to connect this gavi switch doesn't uh, it's not very intuitive so i will explain also this because i'm looking at it right now so we have one side that connected from here to here okay you can see that if i press the switch it is stopping and one side is connected from here to here you see so basically there are two uh, to isolate it between them so it is written on the if you will look at it so it is written here two and three and four and five so two and three and four and five are the separate switch so this is one switch and this is the other switch so of course I will need to connect between two and five in my case because I want the 2 and 5 to get both of them phase and then uh, okay this is connected to this side and this is connected to this side and this will be output number 1 and this will be output number 2 maybe I will write so we will call it uh, in A and in B okay so one of them of course will be in my very beautiful drawing so this will be for example the in A and this will be the in B okay so now I will connect everything and we test that this is really working so hold on while I do all the connection and then we test if this is really work rocking so now that everything is connected hopefully nothing will explode be careful that the wire will not be near the rotating part and you see I also connected the uh, ground because I want to be on the safe side and we'll soon start uh, one last thing 
to do and then hopefully nothing will explode okay so now it's the real test wow hopefully nothing will explode this is the switch I will make sure it is not connected to any side now I will use also something to isolate to to catch the motor just a second okay nothing explode yet so one direction and the other direction if you will see a uh, look it is spinning to both direction So Houston, we have a success. Maybe I will demonstrate that we have a both direction. You connect something here, so we will be able to see the spinning direction. Okay, so again, one side. Well, takes time to stop. And then the other side. Okay. So basically this is how it works. Hope it helps anyone. So as always, thank you and bye bye and be careful while doing this stuff. Okay, you have to be very familiar with electricity and to know what you're doing. So thank you and bye.